Okay. Let us see now if uh, Ramble is working. If you are in Ramble, you need to the refresh, refresh your uh, page, and be sure that the audio is on, you know, so you can be with us. <clears throat> All right. Look like everything is doing good in both. <coughs> Do we have any Muhammadan? Any Muhammadan? There is any Muslim from Qatar? Where is the Muslim from Qatar? Huh? I mean, Muslims are priceless with their intelligence. Each time I debate a Muslim, the first thing I notice how Islam Im impact their IQ. You know, a Muslim, he said to me, uh, you remember I said to you two days ago, I said the Muslim believe that if he have sex with his wife, it's equal to 70 volunteer prayer. He said to me, you are a liar. It is 72. <laughs> oh boy. I said, no, it's 70. So I hope you will come to prove me wrong. You know, I mean, imagine this religion, you do not need to pray to Allah. You just do boom, boom to your wife or your sex slave, you know, and that's it. Allah, you know, I don't know what's wrong with this website. It's not translating. I click translate. It has translate the other option. Uh, okay, maybe now. Huh? Can I translate this page? Why? I don't know why. Sound weird. Translate. There is something wrong here. Original translation. Okay, why not translating? No, something wrong. Anyway, if you open this page, I will post it for you. It says it clearly. Let me try one more time. I don't know why. Huh, finally. Is intercourse with the one, with the one uh, like his wife, Equivalent to a 70 volunteer prayer. <laughs> Only in Islam you will hear such a madness and stupidity. Ibn Khaldun saying to me, this is a lie. But it's in front of you. And this is your Muslim website. Everything there is a Muslim website. You know? Al-Islam, Info, you know? Islam Qua. And this is the link. What do you mean it's a lie? Only in Islam you will find such a trashy teaching. So now the person, he instead of going to Allah to pray to him, he go and he make his wife, uh, you know, take off her panty. Don't you think that this is too much? Holiness? I mean, Islam is is a, is a drop in holiness. I mean, this is the most, this is the maximum holiness, my friend. Who in the world can think for a second? It, like, even the Buddhist, even, I mean, I don't think anyone in the world, he come with such a thing. Like, if you do boom, boom to your wife, is equal to, and why 70? 
Why why 70 Muslim? Why why Muhammad is stuck with number 70? Any Muslim can tell me? Why your prophet he stuck with the number 70? Any Muhammadan? What if I like okay? What what Allah will lose if we will make it one intercourse is equal to seventy thousand? Why Allah is being so cheap? You know there is some countries they are suffering from uh, uh, low birth rate, like in Japan. Maybe we should tell the Japanese. If you do, you want to get reward from God, or what you need to do, boom, boom, you know, equal to 70 time. What if a person, he do like five, six times, boom, boom a day? So, like, let us see, hold on. Let us say, like, you know, uh, I cannot speak about myself, it's haram, you know. But I will speak about my grandfather. So my grandfather, he can do it at least nine times a day. And then nine, x seventy. He will, in every day, he pray 630 times. My grandfather, he must be saint according to Islam. <laughs> so here the difference between saint in Christianity and saint in Islam. In Islam, a saint is the one who do more boom boom. In Christianity, a saint is someone who pray all day long and serve the people. So obviously, who is the winner? Do we have any Muhammadan? Hmm? Now we know the definition of saint in Islamic cult. Islam is debunked, but now Muslims are leaving it. That's false. Muslims are leaving Islam by thousands. You can search right now at Jazeera TV program. They were talking about 6 million Muslims leaving Islam a year. A year. This is just in one territory in the world. So imagine what's happening in the world. Go and search right now what's happening in Iran. Islam is collapsing in Iran. In Iraq, in Syria. What are you talking about, my friend? For the first time, Muslims are making fun of Islam in the heart of Muslim countries. Like Egypt. There's now TV programs making fun of the stories of the Prophet. In the heart of Egypt. Do we have any Muhammadan? Muslims, you have no excuse to tell me I need to go and pray. You do boom boom one time, it's better than 70 times. This way, you can pray. You don't need to pray for the coming 40 days, 14 days. Just go do boom. -boom. And come back to me, and now you have no excuse to leave to say, I need to pray, I am fasting, all those excuses. Any Muhammadan? Any Muslim? And you know, even more, you know, pray, or you want to even have sex, just say Bismillah wa bihamdihi 100 times. Say in the name of Allah 100 times, Allah will erase your sin, even if it is more than the sin, more than the foam of the ocean. 
How how good is that, man? So here it says, the Prophet he said, whose ever says, Subhanallah wa bihamdihi. Remember, you have to say it in Arabic. Absolutely, you say it in English. You're wasting your time. Allah, listen only to Arab people. Listen carefully. Allah is the God of all mankind. But you cannot pray to Him in any language except in Arabic. <laughs> so you have to say Bismillah wa bihamdihi 100 times a day. This person who do so, his sin will be forgiven even if they are like <clears throat> the form of the ocean. Who can beat that? See how difficult Islam is? Any Muhammadan? <clears throat> All right, look like we don't have customers today. Do we have customers? We don't have customers. What happened? Well, you know, sometimes we have a drought. Sometimes sometime we have a flooding. All right. I, go ahead. Is it from my side? I hear nothing. Go ahead again. Say again. I was uh, my my uh, my speaker was a mute. Say again. Oh, oh yeah, I was saying it's a, it's a Muslim that has his hammer and he's waiting to come up. His name is Ibn Khaldun. Uh, this guy is a potato. He will never come back. He will never come here. Oh, you already know. Him. Never mind. Well, <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. This guy is a bit. This guy is being fried already. <clears throat> You know, actually, I did not fry him even. I like, I did boil him, you know. I did boil him, I did beat him. I, you know, this guy is just gone, you know. We had salt on him. Uh, mm, that sounds good. No, not really. Still, he's a Muslim. <laughs> <laughs> not really. Yeah, there are potatoes. In the chat, there are heroes when you talk to them the muslim if you want to talk to me either he will play games he will speak about philosophy he will change the topic in the speed of light he will be jumping from branch to branch like he start talking about trinity and then he start jumping the second the second you put him in the, like he's he find himself not in a good spot and this is what will happen right away anyway he you know muslim for me is like somebody you put him with naked feet in the top of the stove and we are watching his feet. This is how I see him. And actually, I can make that appear to you if you are watching YouTube or uh, uh, if you are watching uh, Ramble, you know. Let us see how a Muslim look like when he is debating me. Yeah. Yeah, it's something like that, you know. Yeah. He will start dancing and moving all over the place. Uh huh. And now this Abdul, he is saying Bismillah wa bihamdihi one hundred times. Mm hmm. And then when you put him in a very heavy duty corner, what he will do? He will start threatening you. You know. And you know, for me, threat doesn't work. In fact, when somebody threat me, I do the opposite. You threat me, I don't retreat. I do totally the opposite. Do we have any Abdul? You know, I have a question actually. I saw a Muslim was asking a sheikh if the if the cats are Muslims. He Muslims, what do you think? Is it true that cats are Muslims? And dogs are not? Any Muslim? Why cats are Muslims and dogs are not Muslims? 
anyone? Any Muslim? What you know? Why you hate you know dogs? And you Muslims, you, uh, you. Uh, did you see the video of the cat who don't walk in the Quran, brother? How many of you saw it? Did you see it? And you know, when I saw this video, I almost converted to Islam, like the cat itself. You know. Christians, Buddhist, Hindus, people around the world, they were shocked when they saw doesn't walk on when it. they saw this cat. I'm, I'm, I mean, this is you see the Christian. They are proud that they have a, a God. His name is Jesus. He made the blind see, and uh, you know he healed the leper. He resurrected people from death. Well, yeah, okay, yeah, we have we Muslim. We have something more, way more high and fi. Cats don't walk in the Quran. That doesn't like this guy. This guy here, he's a Christian <clears throat> from <clears throat> from Japan. Uh, he wanted to prove that this is not true. He got busted, you know. He got busted. And instead of proving that this is not true, what happened? The opposite. When people they watch the video he made. He was trying his best to make the people believe cats are not Muslims. But as soon as he started playing the video, people they notice that cats are Muslims. Watch with me. Been sending me videos claiming that a cat will not walk on the Quran. And they're presenting this as evidence for Islam. Evidence that proves that the Quran is the word of God. Do you notice that the Muslims they play a music for Allah, Islamic music? This is uh, you know with the cat, music, cat, Quran, the Islamic Trinity. Do you notice the music, brother? It's fantastic. It's amazing. Uh, brother, tell us what happened. Oh, I better want to play the music now. Hold on. The music. And look at this guy. Here. This guy, look, this guy, his mouth is open. Look how his mouth is open. He could not even, I mean, I mean in a rat, he can jump in and nobody will notice. Like, what? Are you kidding me? And you know those the funny is those videos just to get a click they they make those reactions like the guy he watched the video already and now he is acting like he saw the video now and he is shocked like Whoa! he opened his mouth and this is supposed to what make people watch hmm. that's amazing how in the world this is happening brother from Wow. wow look at this guy this guy one of the most funny actors in in youtube you know just to get a click they do like wow and not only that they name their videos a cat take reaction to the quran <laughs> i'm so glad they did not say the pope you know a catholic reaction to the quran that's a good one yeah i mean <clears throat> Anyway, the real video is here, actually, not one. Not this one, this one. This one is just, uh, uh, somebody made this video. Let us see this video here. <clears throat> I say to you, it's your last chance, you know, to become Muslim. As you see the catch, she found, uh, she took Shahada, and she become Muslim. The dog, he could not, because he's stupid, you know. Dogs are dirty in Islam. Cats are clean. Hi everyone, 
Well, you might notice the background here. I'm at my friend's house and he has a cat. Why am I recording another cat video? Well, I recorded a video responding to a disturbingly common Muslim argument claiming that the Quran must be miraculous and from God because a cat will not walk on it. So I tested that over and over again and it took me on average about half a second to two seconds to get a cat to walk on the Quran each time. You're kidding. Oh my goodness. Look at those Qurans. But there are people who want to defend this absurd claim. So they replied in hundreds of comments that the texts I was using weren't Qurans. Exactly. I don't see original book of the Quran in the video, you idiot. See only Quran translation. <laughs> you know, this is why I say a Muslim is a person who is born as genius. And look at the other, other guy, he says, his name is Furqan. Quran should be only Arabic language because it would be a different language. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Look at the message in the top. Message, messenger of, of, uh, of God. He said, my cat won't walk on me. I must be Allah. <laughs> good one, good one. That's good. <laughs> That's very nice, actually. That's not Quran, you idiot. Huh? You don't have a, the Quran. That is the Hadlul. That's not Quran. That's not Quran. That's translation. Oh, boy. What a drama. What a drama. Oh, oh man. They cut and busted. This is not Quran. That's not Quran. <laughs> not Quran. Hello, we get you busted. <laughs> I have right here the text I was using. Um, here we have a variety of Qurans, which they say weren't Qurans. They were dictionaries. So I heard dictionaries. They were phone books. They were random Arabic books, but they weren't Qurans. Oddly enough, those same people would complain that I set the Qurans on the floor. I'd uh, complain if they're not really Qurans. But uh, let's go ahead and flip through some of these books to see what they actually are. Notice that it says the Quran. That's odd, considering it's just a dictionary. You can zoom in on this and see it in the original video. Arabic text with corresponding English meanings. And what you have here is you have the English translation over here, and you have the Arabic. This is the full Arabic text of the Quran. You have the entire Quran from Surah 1 all the way to Surah 114. The entire Arabic text of the Quran. Here we also have the Quran. We have the full Arabic text and English translation, some notes and so on. So, Arabic text of the Quran. Arabic text of the Quran. Arabic text of the Quran. This is the full Arabic text of the Quran. Here we have the Noble Quran, odd title for a book that's simply a dictionary. Once again, we have the English text and we have the Arabic text, the full Arabic text of the Quran. And yet, for some reason, it's not a Quran, even though it contains the full Arabic text of the Quran. Full Arabic text of the Quran. Lots of English translation, lots of notes. You have introductions, but you also have the full Arabic text of the Quran. And yet we're told that this isn't the Quran. So basically you have two different kinds of claims. You have one, people saying that these are just dictionaries or, or some other random texts. I hope you see at least that these are uh, Qurans here. Um, but then we have another claim, which is that if any translation is added, it's no longer the Quran. So if you have the full Arabic text of the Quran and you add a word of translation, Suddenly, you have just destroyed the Quran. It's no longer the Quran. Now, why is that odd? Well, the word Quran means recitation. 
Right? It's something to be recited. You write it down in the text because that's the text that is to be recited. So if you have the text in Arabic that's to be recited, then you've got the Quran. But according to our friends out there, it's not the Quran if it has an English translation beside it. So notice, if you were to say that you have the entire Arabic text of the Quran memorized, if you went to classes and memorized the entire text of the Quran, if you know the translation for any one of those verses, you don't have the Quran memorized because you've also got another language in your mind. See how silly this is? But I aim to please, my friends, and so we're going to put this to yet another test. Our friends say that these Qurans are not real Qurans because they're not just in Arabic. If they were only in Arabic, then we could actually have ourselves a little test. Well, we're going to go ahead and have a little test here. I have a can of cat food. Remember, that was the original. Here you see how those Christians are not being honest. If you look at this uh, canned food, all right, this is a canned food, have drugs. And this cat is high. She's addicted to drugs. She's a Muslim, yes, but she is under the influence of drugs. So what he did, he was giving this cat drugs, and now she became addicted, and now she is not aware that the Book of Allah is just under her feet. So this cat was a victim of those Christians. Zoom, zoom with me. It says uh, coconut. What is the difference between it? It says coconut uh, 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 mixed with beef. What coconut? This is a like this is like a secret word between those Christians. They want to say uh, cocaine. You know, cocaine. So they put in the top of it coconut, so that, you know nobody will notice from that then, from the, uh, the the police of YouTube, you know. So he is giving the cat uh, uh, cocaine, so the cat will not notice that she is walking over the most uh, iconic uh, holy book in the world. The cat now is high. I mean that can happen to anybody. So we cannot blame our sister Mrs. Cat. Her name is Aisha, by the way. Her sister is Fatima, and she is a Muslim who prayed to Allah. This is what the Muslim tried to convince you. <laughs> I mean, we are in the year 2024, and we are talking about a cat don't walk in the Quran. <laughs> the Muslims are flushing the Quran in the sewage in Saudi Arabia. Al-Qurmati, he destroyed the Kaaba. And he killed 10,000 Muslims, and he is a Muslim, but supposedly, by the way. But obviously, he's an apostate. Uh, and he took the black stone, and he challenged Allah. He said, Allah, here, where is your birds? Proving that the chapter of the elephant in the Quran is nothing but a lie. Tons of times the Kaaba was destroyed. You can go right now and search how many times the Kaaba were destroyed to the ground. Yet the cat is not walking over the Quran. Original claim. The original claim is that a cat will not walk on a Quran, step on a Quran for food. We're going to test it. Will a cat step on the Quran to get to some food? Let's test it with some Arabic text. So we have here a variety of Arabic Qurans. And we have some delicious cat food. <laughs> the cat she came right there. The cat is already stepping on. <laughs> hey, look, where's that cat stepping? Where's the cat stepping? What is that? She's high and she's taking drugs. Very disturbed at how quickly that cat stepped on the Quran. And it's currently stepping on multiple Qurans. What's wrong with this cat? What's this book? <clears throat> you tell me what this book is. What is it? Harry Potter. Because one comment I see over and over again is, just because a book's in Arabic doesn't make it the Quran. Well, that's true, but we're not talking about any book that happens to be written in Arabic. We're talking about what this book is. What is this book? What is it? If we flip through this book, what is it? Is this Fifty Shades of Grey? Is it 
Huckleberry Finn. What is it? Is it The Adventures of Tom Sawyer? What is this book? Now I know what David Wood he spent his day reading. <laughs> what are you counting for us, man? What Tom Sawyer? What, uh, what are you talking about? This is a serious topic, you know, this is the Quran, this is a Muslim cat, and now you made her leave Islam. Obviously, obviously, guys, this cat is an apostate. I mean, is it obvious? <clears throat> Isn't it this guy, his friend, his name, apostate prophet? Is it hard for apostate prophet to have an apostate cat friend? Just think about it. You go to his friend, apostate prophet, he calls him and says, hey, do you have any, like, from, you know, like you're apostate prophet, do you know any apostate cats, apostate, you know, like uh, crocodile, apostate, anything. So I said, sure, I, mean, no, I call, you know, uh, I will call my apostate friend Susu. <coughs> they call Susu, meow. So, you meow? Meow. Okay. Can you join uh, David Wood? He will give you food. You do nothing, just act normally. Meow, which means, are you sure? You know? So anyway, like, uh, you know, they agree together. <coughs> Uh, yes, uh, yes, they're saying, uh, CP, if your safe ain't apostate, why for 20 years you are still in the closet? My friend, your God, Allah never get out of the closet. <laughs> Instead of asking, why you want to see me? And if you see me, trust me, you, you will do poo, -poo in your pants. You know, you must be scared of me without seeing me. So imagine if you see me. It's not for your benefit if you see me, trust me. And, uh, you know, as long you are a mujahid and you do jihad, how come you don't go and find the guy who wrote books against your prophet and he made thousands of Muslims leave Islam? For how long you will stay in your closet? Hmm? Potato. So now this cat, who is obviously an apostate, she left Allah and she is not a good Muslim. First of all, there is, you can notice something very careful about, be careful. You see that this cat is not wearing a hijab. Hmm. Why this cat is not wearing a hijab? Isn't it clear that she is an apostate? A Muslim cat, you see, he did not go and bring a Muslim cat who is religious. She, uh, you know, she prays, she fasts Ramadan. By the way, I heard that cats on Ramadan, they eat only after, uh, like after the sunset. They start hunting for mice, halal mice. All right. And by the way, uh, Lil Dawa, he sell halal cat food. Honestly. <laughs> Lil Dawa, he sell halal cat food. So why David Wood did not buy halal cat food and practice this method? Because that make it only Muslim cat she is going to participate. This one is obviously is an atheist. God knows. God knows what is she went through. You know, maybe this cat, she work in Andrew Tate's uh, website. She's not decent. In fact, I saw her butt. Honest to Allah, this cat, when she moved to eat, I saw her butt, she was not wearing anything. Which is a clear evidence that this David Wood, he got this cat from Andrew Tate's, Andrew Tate's uh, uh, you know, website. Otherwise, explain to me why she is showing her butt. So, obviously, she is not a Muslim. Muslim only, they show their breast. Muslim females, they show only their breast. As the guy who called me in the morning, remember? <laughs> he was saying to me, what's the problem? <laughs> like, man, like, you know, Muslim women, she show her breast. You know, so, what's the problem? You know? He said to me, you, you Christian women, women, she show her hair. How about food that's not fancy at all? What about regular dry cat food? Regular dry cat food. Come on. Come on. She did not like it much, this food, obviously. Are you willing to walk on that Quran? That cat is walking right on the Quran. Wasn't that the claim? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Because people also said that because I had more than one Quran there, that somehow disturbs the Quran. Come here. This cat is walking all over that Quran. That was the exact challenge, ladies and gentlemen. The exact challenge was whether a cat would walk 
on a Quran. We did that with multiple Qurans, and now we have this cat standing on a Quran for food. But but weren't we told that that's what a cat would never do? Nice, delicious, dry food for you. Hey, what are you doing? Walk. What are you doing? Stepping on the Quran. What kind of monster would step on a Quran? Because I've heard from thousands of Muslims that a cat will never step on the Quran. And you, you know what the you know what the accusation here again will be that I've simply put a Quran cover on a book that isn't actually the Quran. So once again, what is this? Is it a phone book? Is it a Bible? Yes. Is it the works of Shakespeare? Is hold, this hold Romeo on, and Juliet that are, I'm flipping through? You are watching an action what movie, please. Those of you who are honest, be honest about what this is. You've told me a cat will not walk on it. What is it all the way through? Is this a phone book at any point? <laughs> is this some other book at any point? What is this book? This cat is a savage. What kind of savage are you? What kind of savage, untamed beast would be trampling all over multiple Arabic Qurans? And, oh, we know what the claim is, don't we, cat? We know what the claim is. These aren't really Qurans, are they? No. No, these aren't really Qurans. These aren't really Qurans. I'm just making it up. These are phone books, ladies and gentlemen. Phone books. This cat is not human. It feels no pain. It See? can't be reasoned with. I saw with. her butt. I saw her there butt. There is no incentive known to human beings that will convince a cat to walk or step on the Quran. Nothing will do it, ladies and gentlemen. Nothing will do it. So obviously, this must not be the Quran, right? This must not be the Quran. There's no way this is the Quran. No. <laughs> You'll never do that again. You'll never. Oh, no. All over the Qurans. <laughs> Just for a piece of string. <laughs> These must not even be Qurans. Oh, no, they are. Oh, no. But I heard that cats will never, ever in a billion years walk on the Quran as long as it's in pure Arabic. First of all, this guy should be reported to the police because this is a child abuse. This cat, she's very young. She is not, she is not mature. She's not six years old. See what those Christians are doing? They bring a cat under the age. Like, did this cat agree to be in video, first of all? Did she? Obviously not. She doesn't know what's going on. Okay, let's see. We have option select. Uh, option select. Go ahead. What do you want to say to us? CB, the thing I want to say is not urgent. I see another guy on the stream. Maybe you want to take him. Okay, now that second guy will say to me, CP, I'm not urgent. I see the first guy, he might have some in here. Go ahead, the second guy. Yes. <coughs> Go. Hello? Yes, we hear you. Uh, hello, CP. How are you doing? Man? I'm fine. Good uh, I had a question actually. Um, in the Quran and the Hadith, Jesus is the uh, the final judge. Uh, they call him uh, the healer, the resurrector of the dead, the whole world. Yeah. And uh, we don't see everything of his teachings. How can they disconnect Jesus from his teachings and have him as the final judge? I don't understand that. My friend, the Muslims, they have they have something more important than Jesus. The cat. The cat is not walking in the Quran. I mean, come on. See, I mean, if if, if Allah he if Allah he saw the video of the cat not moving in the Quran, he would make a chapter. It's called the chapter of the cat. You know? And Muhammad will say, Don't you see the cat who did not walk like a rat and he she forgot uh, 
uh, how you can explain that she did not uh, she, she ignored the infilas and she kissed the quran and she even raised her hat do you ignore what the, uh, about the cat like so we'll make a chapter about the cat and uh, there's nothing about jesus in the quran jesus he have his him and his mother they eat food <laughs> And why he's talking about his mother? Because supposedly the Christian believe Mary is a trinity. <laughs> so that, that, that's also, I, I don't understand how could uh, the Imari, Imari Allah get it wrong that we believe in Mary. Yeah, God. see, God. they claim to be God. A Christian kid, you know, the trinity is God, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Yeah. There's no Mary, no Christian, no, no, no Christian, all Christians, Catholic, Protestant, Orthodox. This is the trinity. So the stupid Muhammad, he could not even figure what the Trinity is. So how a Muslim today will figure it out? But, but, but my question is, in the Jid, how, how can they have uh, Jesus Christ as the final judge? Because they say that the judgment day, he is the one who will judge them, or everyone. Yeah, he so will be... Them in, in the Quran, without his teachings, they disconnect him totally from his teachings. No, actually the problem here is bigger than uh his teaching because the muslim they will say to you he will judge by the quran <laughs> yeah right yeah and he will he will he will send us to hell because we did not do breastfeeding for adults <laughs> yeah but the, the problem is in that uh in that uh, uh hadith you mentioned that jesus he will be not only a judge he will be absolute just and yes, yes. Uh, Muhammad there, he made a false prophecy actually, because he claimed that the Messiah will come very soon, extremely soon, and like, like in the corner. In Arabic it says, <clears throat> the Yushikna. In Arabic the word Yushikna, it means like almost here, not, like it's not even tomorrow. So prepare yourself, he is coming. And then, this is, was uh, 1400 years ago. And then Muhammad, he made more poo when he confirmed that Jesus is God. Why? Because he said, that Jesus will be the judge of the earth and he will be just. And not only that, the earth will abundance with money, which means nobody care for money no more. Just because the a, a Christ is coming, just because the Christ is there. So if you read in the Quran, in the, in the Hadith here, you will see that the Messiah, he will be Hakaman Muqsitan. And to be a Hakaman Muqsitan, to be a just judge they say here in the in the translation ruler that's false in arabic it says hakaman or is a hakiman hakaman is a judge here you see different translation you see the same hadith that's why you cannot trust muslim translating anything i mean the same hadith word by word look here it says judge the one in the top it says ruler it can't be it's not true you cannot be a ruler and you cannot either it says judge or it says ruler so it says judge and who judge justly and who is the one can judge justly save god nobody so this is a big poo, -poo of muhammad he just confess that jesus is god because a human being he judge only by his limited knowledge and therefore his judgment cannot be just even if he judge with knowledge let us say we give a judge all the information of the case nothing is hidden Still, he cannot be justly because each one of us is different. His sin is different. His crime is different. The reason to do it is different. So to be just is only one of the names of Allah <clears throat> is, is, is uh, 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 Al-Hakam and Al-Adil. So he is the judge and he is the just. And Jesus have both. So Muhammad, he made a big purple. And here you'll find something very funny, like the Muslims are obsessed with the cat don't walk in the Quran, but Jesus is going to come and kill the pig. Yeah, you have to go after the pig, that's very important. Yeah. <laughs> like Jesus, he come to Texas. He have a gun in his side, and who will say, he will say to the pig, who is Johnny? And then, Johnny, he come, and he is, this guy is a pig, big pig, you know? He will say to Jesus, listen, amigo, I'm Johnny. And now the music of the cowboy will start. 
What the heck is that? So Jesus coming from heaven to kill the pig, which one? What is the problem between this God and this pig? What exactly the issue for you Muslims with Mr. Pig? Mr. Pig, he don't teach his wife to go and do breastfeeding for adult. Mr. Pig, he, the, even pigs don't go after little babies, pigs. Your prophet did. A pig, he jump in the mud to avoid the insect and to cool his body because he don't sweat. Your prophet, he jump in the dirty water, have dead dogs and women blood from period for what? What reason? We can compare between the pig and, the, and Muhammad. We will find that the pig is make more way more sense. Why Muhammad he jump in water, have dead dogs? Any Muslim can tell me. And women blood from period and garbage. You claim that the pig is dirty. Pigs they go. The, the reason people they say he's dirty like a pig. Not because the pig really is dirty, but this animal, he do the same as the elephant. To cool themselves, they cannot sweat. To cool themselves, they flip their body in the mud and that will make a coat over their skin from mosquitoes, from insects, from all kinds of bugs. This is not because he's dirty. The Old Testament forbid eating uh, uh, pigs because they eat anything and the old days there's dead bodies war etc and pigs they eat anything they are not just a, they are not a grass animal only they eat a the grass but they will eat meat they will eat dead bodies but what the problem between Allah and the pig actually you know what there is a there is a verse in the Quran I find it very nice. Muhammad is copying a, a, a wise man. His name is Luqman. The Muslim, by the way, do not even know who is Luqman. Luqman is saying, and be moderate in the, in the pace and lower the voice for the harshest sound without doubt is the bearing of the ass. So Muslims, why you call for the Adhan with loud voice? A flat voice is a sign of a, someone he is an ass. Anyone? All right, my friend, uh, we take the second person, the one option select, go ahead. Good evening, CB. Good evening. Um, I caught a couple, uh, couple days ago, actually. Well, what happened? Actually, I disconnect you by mistake. How about disconnecting the other person? Uh, come back, brother. Sorry, I, uh, this is my mis mistake. Friendly fire, friendly fire. I disconnect you by mistake. You know, we are Arab. We are very good in aiming. All right. <clears throat> so you shot me by mistake. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oops, you are again. What happened? Now Allah, he punished you, not me. Okay, can you hear me? Yeah, we hear you. Go ahead. <clears throat> okay. Uh, I'm an ex-Muslim. I called a couple of days ago. And I wanted to push back on something. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Um, I remember you pushed back, yeah. but you fail. But honestly, I don't feel like I failed, but like... Okay, push back again. Let us, let us repeat the same thing. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. Today, today I have another point. Okay. Um, okay. Um, uh, first of all, like, because it's an advice, I believe that it should be, like, said in a private, but I know also you don't take calls of mine. Okay. So that's why I'm like calling and say, um, I feel like uh, sometimes you give conclusions that are not justified. And here's like an example. 
So okay. Mm -hmm. Rocco uh, went to his uh, adopted son uh, house and saw his uh, wife, uh, his wife, mm -hmm. and he you know, did like a glory be to Allah and that made my heart turn to you. Mm -hmm. And uh, then, as you know, they deposited the perfect miracle. Mm -hmm. So all this is factual because this we can get from the books. But you also say that the prophet was sleeping with her, which is like if you ask any Muslim, they would shake their head about this, right? And what I fear, honestly, two folds. First of all, I hate to see someone discussing who the Muslim and, the, and he thought this out and then the Muslim like put a quick one and won the argument. Second thing... Uh, well, let's discuss this one. Let's, let's discuss this one. When Muhammad, he came to the house of Zaid and he flirted with the wife, did the wife get upset? No. That's why I'm saying, obviously, she is sleeping with him. Because a good woman, she will be extremely upset and she will kick him out from the house immediately. There's no way a decent woman. He is not only... Listen, 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 listen. I'm not making an assumption. It's obvious. If I flirt with a woman and she did not respond with anger, obviously, she don't mind. Remember, remember, she is married, right? Not only that, when the husband came, she told her husband, but she's not upset still. She told him, your dad like me. So th this is the time, I believe, when Muhammad and Zainab decide it is time for her to move to his house. He is coming all the time, sleeping with her. There's no way. Like now, Muhammad, his heart flipped for her now. This woman, she is married to his son for a while. He keep coming always, but this day, what happened? The window of love opened. Muhammad, he become a teenage. He suddenly saw her. No, he always saw her. He is the father. He is the one who married her to him. So he married her to him so he can go to the house. So he can be there. And now he decided, you know what? Why even she is there? I'm going to bring her here. And then this is why you see in the Quran it says, why you hide what is in your heart? Allah is not even saying to him, <clears throat> shame on you, idiot. Sorry, my voice. Shame on you, idiot. No. He is saying to him, why you hide what Allah made it clear for you? What Allah made it clear to him? That you will have her. She is yours. So the man he came, Zaid he came, and look how hypocrite Muhammad is. He told him, I want to divorce her. Zaid never complained about his wife, ever, until he heard this story. So it's obvious that the wife is sleeping with, the, with Muhammad. If you are married and your wife heard your dad flirting with her, and when he came home, she's not upset. What you are going to think yourself? Well, uh, based on that scenario you gave, uh, yes, something must be going on. Right? No, no, I did not give but, scenario. This is what happened. Even Zainab, she yeah, said, yeah. even Zainab, she said, each time Zaid, after that, each time Zaid, he tried to have sex with her, Allah made his penis swell. So Zainab, she is not having sex with Zaid no more. Obviously, she is refusing to sleep with him. All I'm saying is, I can't imagine other scenarios. No, no, I, I can, this is not imagining. This is not imagining. A good woman. There is no, there is no, 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 it's not up to you. It's not up to you. A good woman. There is no, there is no way a decent woman married to a man. She will accept even his friend to flirt with her. This is now the father. This is this is way more un, uh, uh, ugly. So she should be outraged. She will be so angry. Not only angry. This is the, his father. So instead of being so angry, she like it and she is proud about it. So obviously, 
she is with him in the bed for a while. See, the, um, the, uh, imagine the following. Um, one of the visitors in the Middle East, okay, come and this tablet, say, get from the tablets to you, okay, comes to you, hey, I uh, like your wife, you give me a divorce her. Okay. And? Um, and then this happened. The next day in the newspaper, what do you expect is going to happen? What? I expect that the woman would be saying in the newspaper, hey, my husband was terrible. Da, da, da. Uh, he wasn't good. He, uh, we couldn't the women, she did not say, no, no. The women, she made it as a miracle from Allah. Her, her penis swelled. That's what you're going to be in their newspapers. Right. My friend, my, fr my friend, you are just wasting my time. Sorry, this argument is 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 false. Anyway, you don't you don't need to agree with me or not. This is your business, but it's obviously the woman. She is a bad woman, and there's no way a good man. He's a prophet of God. He will marry a woman. She accepted to be flirted with her when she is in the house of her husband. If I go and I accept to marry a woman, she is a cheating on her husband. That means I don't mind if she cheat on me. A cheater. She's a cheater. Muhammad himself is a cheater. A man who go to the house of his own son. He cheated the trust. This is number one of his own son. He cheated the owner of the house. This is a married couple house. They trusted him to get in because he have legitimate reason. He is the father. And what he do? He go and he flirt with the wife. So Muhammad is not only ugly, he is a double ugly. The wife, obviously she is a whore. She's not only a bad woman. She is a whore. She is bragging about how Muhammad failed on, to enter her while she is in the house of other men. A good woman will never do that. Unless in your mind you think that a good woman would do that. No, I think maybe she was forced. That's why I gave you... My friend, that's you false. Know. That's false. That's false. Because if, if, she is, if she is forced, if she is forced, she do not need to make stories praising her you know what happened she is you know because uh, even a forced woman as an example there's a woman muhammad he wanted to have sex with her do you know what she said to, to muhammad and she was a noble woman no no idea she said to him how a, how a, a queen like me offer herself to the trash person like you that must have given when he was weak in the Medina. No, actually, actually, he just conquered her, her, her tribe and he, he killed them all. You know, he killed them all. This woman, she don't care. She is a daughter of an honorable man. So he, you know, this, this is, this is the, this is the woman. She is a, from a decent family. And, uh, uh, let me, let me show you the hadith. So you can see the different. He can kill her immediately. I mean, he just, he conquered Mecca now. He is, so she said to him, how a queen she offer herself to the trash person like you. Muhammad, he wanted to beat her according to the story. And I think she said, I seek refuge by Allah. So Muhammad, he feared that the Muslim will hear this, that she seek refuge by Allah and still he killed her. So here it says, here we go. This is the hadith, and this is Sahih Muslim. Read it carefully. And this is the Muslim translation trying to fix it. It says here, uh, uh, no, this is another one, sorry, hold on. Uh, where is the hadith? If you don't mind, can I see the Arabic as well? Yeah, yeah, here we go. Here we go, I found it, I, I found it, here we go. In Arabic it says, قالت وهل تهب الملك نفسها للسوق يصير قال فأهوى بيده so he went he 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 wanted to hit her you know then she said I seek refuge by Allah from you so Muhammad was insulted heavily and this honorable woman she must be from a very very decent family and she is very brave. I mean, the guy, he have an army. He just conquered them. What she said to him? She said, how a woman like me, you filthy scumbag, 
all for herself. And look at the Muslim translation. She said, they said, how can a princess give herself in marriage to an ordinary man? That's not what it says. A suqa. A suqa is the trashy, is the savage, the garbage of the society. <laughs> the you Muslim... The that, do you know the root for it, like suq, for example? No, no, this is not about... That's like a weird word. Suqa, suqa is, is, is the trash, is the lowest of the, of the society. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So she did not say, she did not say a princess too. The translation is false. She said a queen. How a queen like me, she offer herself to a trashy person like you. And this is why Muhammad, he wanted to beat her. You know, he raised his hand to beat her, you know, as you see here. And then she, she said, I seek refuge by Allah from you. And then Muhammad, he said, will you seek refuge by the one who gave refuge? So he gets scared. You know, and he did not he did not beat her. But the women obviously this is a real woman. She is not married. Muhammad he wants her. She called him the most aggressive word, even though he can cut her head. Yeah, I wonder how many they didn't say we seek refuge from Allah and they ended up dead and we didn't hear about them. Well, obviously. Back to saying I'm thinking quick. Why do you think he didn't, uh, Sophia? Sorry. Why don't you think he like he had a lot of wives? Why he didn't marry her already from the beginning? Who? Uh, quote unquote the prophet. You mean Zainab, not Sophia? Zainab, yes, Zainab. I I believe the reason because there's a situation. Muhammad, uh, you know. Uh, like as an example, when Muhammad was married to Khadija, he did not marry any women at all because Khadija, she is rich and she will kick his ass. He will become homeless. You will notice Muhammad, when Khadija, she died, he started jumping from women to women. So Muhammad, he studied his scenario. When he can do things, when he cannot do things. When he can do it, he do it. We do not know the history of Islam is very corrupt, so the dates and the and, and the, <clears throat> the details of years is not really trustworthy. So it might be that uh, she married him uh, to him, him uh, uh, to to this woman when Khadija was alive, most likely, and at that time Khadija is alive, he cannot sleep with her. So Khadija passed away. Now he can have her. And that actually could be like a check because I think that you could follow and see uh, a dedication story and know where he was adopted. Yeah, yeah, but you see why he was why he was adopted because Muhammad cannot have kids, correct? Well, actually, that's another thing. But I don't want to take a lot of your time. But that's that thing. <coughs> when the Quran says, "Marakana Muhammadun Aba Ahli Marijali," he was. Uh, no father for any one of your men. Right? right, right. So, but like he had daughters, no? No, no, he never had any daughters. Those are not true, true. Muhammad, he married Khadija. He is a third husband. Khadija is an old woman. She have two husbands before him. She, mm -hmm. she, she inherited their money. And Muhammad, he married an old woman, very rich, according to Muslim source, she was the second rich person in the tribe of Quraysh. This is why when Muhammad, he wanted to marry her, her father wanted to kill Muhammad because how he accept to marry her to such a man, lawless. So uh, uh, Khadija obviously is in control and there's no question about that. You see, Muhammad, he advised a man, why you marry a widow? You remember the hadith? Why you marry a widow, yeah. but not a child? Yeah. So that means Muhammad, he don't like to marry a widow, and Khadija is a widow. He yeah, liked to marry. Not normal, CP. CP, like if you had a child, you would never think about his wife. Like, this is not normal. <clears throat> There's no question he is not normal. I mean, nothing, nothing yeah. about this man is normal. I mean, if I have a woman, I'm claiming to be a prophet now. I have, okay, he's a man, he have a sexual need. Okay, he have wives. He have more than one wife. Why he go after his own son wife? Is that enough what he have at home? 
No, it's not enough because simply this guy is mentally ill and he likes to own and control. He don't. That's what I'm saying. I'm yeah. Saying it's wrong. <clears throat> Yeah, no, absolutely. Back to, to back, back to to uh, So you you understand it as that like the 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 kids, not like. No, no, rijalakum means rijalakum. The word rijal means men, men. Uh, the Arab they don't count the ladies anyway. I mean, the Arab they don't count girls. They don't say you know they 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 say only they count you by how many boys you have, not by how many girls. A father of a thousand female is the father of nobody. So the father of one man, he is the father of Abu etc. Abu Muhammad. But uh, the father of Aisha, yeah, he have Aisha. Aisha, she is now she is nobody. Uh, so how did we know that he has no kids? Very simple. All the women Muhammad he have sex with. How many they have kids from him? Mm. Why only Khadija? She have daughters from her. They say that Muhammad, he have Ibrahim, Qasim. They say that Mary, she gave birth to a son. That's false. Mary, she is a slave and she sleep with everybody. Even they accuse her cousin to sleep with her. And then uh, uh, Muhammad, he sent uh, some stories, say Ali, some they say Omar, to, cut, to kill him. And then he found that he have no penis. So even Muhammad, he suspect that she is sleeping around. Otherwise, why you want to send somebody to kill him? So... Obviously, Muhammad, he cannot have kids. Even the Quran says that uh, uh, the Arab, they made fun of him. They said he is Aptar. Uh, if you go to the chapter of al kawthar chapter 108, this is about what? Yeah, a man, he cannot have children. So... Maybe it's also, like, in fairness, I think it could mean that... Uh, as you said, if you don't have um, kids, it could be after. No, no, uh, uh, no problem, no problem. But I mean, all the women he have. No kids, I, I mean... Those, you see, my friend, my friend, he have all those women. All those women he's sleeping with. Where is the kids? And Khadija no, is... Not Fatima. Is the, uh, no, no, these are not his kids. Those are the kids of Khadija. Fatima, he considered as his child because she was the youngest when he married Khadija. The, the, the others, they are almost in the age of Muhammad. The other daughters of, of, of uh, Khadija, they are old, they're growing big. So Fatima was the only young one, and she grew up in the house with Muhammad, and she called him that, you know. So he grew, she grew up in his house. He don't have kids. And this is the reason, the main reason Muhammad, he adopted Zaid. Because he don't have hope, he will have children. You see, if you have hope, I mean, if I'm marrying women, keep marrying women, why I want to adopt, if I can have maybe in nine months from now, I will have a child. But obviously he knew very well that he cannot have kids. You understand? The adoption, the adoption, because he knew, he's very sure that he cannot. In fact, if you go to the verse, <clears throat> Uh, and you read the interpretation as long as you speak Arabic. Uh, no, no. If you go to chapter 113, verse number 3, this is about Aisha. Aisha, she came to Muhammad. She put her hand in his hair and she is horny. Muhammad, he answered her saying, this is a verse from Quran, from Allah. So he said, I seek refuge by, with the Lord of the dawn, from the mischief of the created things, from the mischief of darkness. That's false translation. You go right now and search, you speak Arabic, you will find this is the penis when it stand up hard. Muhammad have a problem even to make his penis able to have sex. And now he's accusing Aisha that she is horny and that is evil of her. She knew he cannot have sex. So why she is doing that? And then he claimed right away in the al Uqad, he claimed that somebody did mischievement to him by putting a spell on him so his penis is not working. 
if we go in the hadith just to confirm what I'm saying, uh, you need to learn how to connect the dot. <clears throat> uh, the hadith says that Aisha said, Muhammad, he imagined himself having sex with his, with his wife, but in fact, he did not do so. So Muhammad, this really was, uh, the, the black there's nothing that's called the black magic. Okay, my friend, just listen. I mean, the Quran said, now Muhammad, he said that somebody, he blown knots on him and now his penis is not working. Now, I don't believe like you. I know, I know, but, but listen to me. I mean, this is not the story. The story is, it's a clear Muhammad have a sexual problem. Muhammad, he cannot even have sex. Otherwise, why we have he have all those women, and then it says he imagined himself. Magic war was worked in the prophet so had that he began to fancy that he has doing a thing which has not. Right? What else? It says it clearly that he imagined himself having sex. Not only he done he did not. No, it says it clearly that he sexually sexual issue so we will find here uh, let us go back here it says once the prophet was bewitched and he began to imagine that he had done nothing but in fact he did not what else we will find that this is involved sex not only uh, that that lasted a month to twelve months. They say, right? It doesn't matter. This is what they say. But obviously, he have an issue. Why yeah, a okay. why a why a man why a man? Let us say it, uh, uh, a six month or eight month or one year. Why Muhammad? He is protected by God. He have many wives. You need to have sex with them, and now he's having sex with the pillow. Yet he think they are his wives. How this guy even can be trusted to receive revelation? So the prophet continued for such a such period, imagine that he has slept with his wife. In fact, he did not. Even Aisha confirmed that. You mean my, my favorite part is when he used to hear the rocks like uh, Derek, like saying salam to him. Yeah, assalamu alaikum. Hajarun yuhibbuna. Yeah, I told my mom like if I go here, I'm walking in the street and I can't tell you these rocks, they were like cheering me or telling me hi or what, what did you think? Yeah. Like you think I'm crazy, but the prophet used to do that. She got mad, but <laughs> it's just so funny. Yeah, well, but you can do. Obviously, this man have a mental issue. You know, he jump in, 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 in water, even pigs will not jump in it. Even his sex is not his illusion. This guy, actually, this story here reminds me of a movie. It's called The Perfect Host. I don't know if you watch it. Muhammad, obviously, he is the guy in the movie. In The Perfect Host, this guy, he have a friend, he have a girlfriend, he have a friend to come, they eat with him, but there's nobody. He see people in the table. He have sex with the women in the table. But there's nobody there. It's only him. That is Muhammad, obviously. There's a story of Muhammad trying to grab the genie when he was praying. Nobody see the genie. Only Muhammad. The genie is jumping over his shoulder. Nobody see him. Only Muhammad. Muhammad is see uh, the angel in the corner. Nobody see him. Only Muhammad. Muhammad hear voices. Nobody hear it. Jibri, Only Muhammad. Jibri came down with the 300 wings. Like, Six, 600. 600. Yeah. 600. In different places, he say different. Like the, the, the man in the hadith, Muhammad, he cannot repeat the same hadith twice correctly. Yeah, even the same hadith, like, with the Yeah. How is this used for anymore? It could mean anything. 
Well, Islam is not really a religion. Islam is just a collection of... Uh, actually, I don't even know if Muhammad is a true person or not. There's nothing to confirm it. We don't know if this person has exist. And you will find there's tons of stories in in Muhammad, about Muhammad. They're trying to copy the story of Jesus, like he is light. Uh, 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 there's a hadith, Muhammad, he spit at the eye of a person to, to cure his eye, you know? Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, who's, I think it's about Mujahid, and his eyes, yeah, so there's a story, those, those stories, we heard them before about the Messiah, and now they are repeated again. Uh, you know, uh, the story of Muhammad going to heaven. It is totally in total agreement with the story, uh, in, you know, like fairy tale stories, uh, about uh, a person, his name is Enoch, but this is not the Bible, Enoch, this is a fairy tale, and he found the gate, and each gate there's guards, and there is, a, a, you know, a storage for gold, storage for silver, storage for ice, so a lot of, you know, the same similarity, uh, uh, Everything Muhammad he have is a uh, all the stories they are coming from somewhere. So somehow I believe that Muhammad is a fiction person. However, when I debate Muslims, I don't say that because it doesn't take me anywhere. So I debate Muslims yeah, well, I, with what they believe. I, I think, but like regardless if he was there or not, uh, at least the stories we hear about him of course there's a lot of contradiction but like it obviously anyone who's objective i'm just looking at the whole like story from the outside he will realize right away like that he was a tyrant at the moment he died like half of his emperor or whatever you want to call it the Arabian peninsula they left islam and then you see all the caliphates fighting uh, Osman, uh, the third caliphate being killed and the daughter, quote unquote, daughter of the prophet tried to stop that sword and she got, she got her uh, fingers cut, you know, and like the whole story is miserable. So uh, I think like historically the Arabs needed something to unite them and they took this story and ran with it all of them are gang, a gang all of the, like all the stuff even aisha she took an army of ten thousand men to kill ali you know this is telling me what kind of quality they are they're trashy they are they are the trash of the middle east and savage criminals they took over and uh, now after muhammad uh, died they are fighting over the money and over the wealth and uh, Islam, Islam always from the beginning, it was about money and sex. Nothing more, nothing less. Control as well. I just want to say uh, to the previous scholar when he said, like, why Muslims don't know about like Jesus, uh, or they like don't rationalize, or they don't prioritize that Jesus is coming back, and he's gonna be like a judge, like a judge. But to be honest with you, like, as a Muslim, I never heard of this. And here's how you realize that the whole thing is propaganda. Because they cherry pick the good things from religion. For example, removing uh, mm -hmm. removing harmful stuff from the road so no other people would like it. To... But Muhammad was a pirate in the street. Muhammad, he attacked people in the street. <laughs> And Muhammad he said, Muhammad he said, but, if you see a Christian or a Jew in the in the street, force him to the most narrow alley, force him to walk in the sewage, right? Yeah. Yeah, man, it's 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 really tough. I think just bad because like now it's easy for me to say how bad it is, but like when I was in it. There was a time in my life where I used to go pray five times in the mosque every day. So did you? Did you? Uh, uh, I have a question for you. It's like kind of personal. Did you ever raise your yeah, head? Sure. Did you ever raise your head while you are praying before the imam? Finish. Uh, 
Uh, I know where this is going. <laughs> yeah. Did I've you? I've done it lots of times. But you did? And your head did not become a head? My head. And your head did not become a head of a donkey? <laughs> I mean, maybe figuratively. <laughs> I mean, I can't believe it. How stupid is that? You know, I mean, how stupid this religion is. The guy, he just told him, if you raise your head before the Imam, Allah will make your head the head of a donkey. But this is easy to discover that he is a liar. I mean, just raise your head. Just raise your head before the Imam and let us see if this prophet is a prophet of God. Maybe nobody hears about this, right? And like, when you hear about this, uh, like, they always give you a story that, okay, this is, it was like a challenge for someone in the time of the prophet and that would happen, that, that. But like, you never hear about this stuff. They always tell you about the good stuff and like, the, uh, like, yeah, I mean, like, you certainly agree even that it's all the trash. There are certain points. They are like white dots in darkness. Uh, now, that's a bad example. But like, it's like that's why sometimes you find like uh, good stuff. Uh, like, for example, uh, that you need to honor your parents. Or honor well, this is from the, this is he learned from the Jews and the Arab too. Yeah. The Arab, you know, the Arab, if you insult your parents, you are in a big trouble. This is a tribal, uh, tribal system. Tribal system mean that your family can dishonor you and the second they dishonor you you are dead you know like uh, because you are part of the tribe when you commit a crime the whole tribe is responsible which means war can happen so what they do usually if somebody dishonor them to avoid uh, having war with other tribe if the person let us say they rape, they don't want the whole tribe to be killed or go on war because of one idiot so what they do they dishonor same for this on your parents. So this is the Arab. The Arab they cut the hand of somebody is a thief. Muhammad he took from the Arab. This is not from Allah. This is the Arab practice yeah. from before Islam. He he certainly copied the aspects from different like things from the Jews, Christians. Yeah. Uh like uh, because he was a traitor too, <coughs> he must have a lot of these stories. That's but I am glad, I am glad that you raise your head and nothing happened to your head and you don't have a head of a donkey. <laughs> <laughs> aren't, you, aren't you happy, man? Aren't you happy that this Allah did not notice that you raise your head? I think what happened, I think what happened, Allah was, I was taking a nap. When you did it, you were lucky. He did not see it and he don't have security camera. Otherwise, trust me, Muhammad, you never lie. Anyone who raises his head before the Imam, Allah will make his head the head of a donkey. But I think he's still uh, like it, trying to make the Jews and the Christians, uh, mm -hmm. what was it, like the grandsons of uh, pigs. The pigs and, and monkeys, people. yeah. No, Muhammad actually yeah. once, uh, uh, <laughs> Muhammad once, he, he was ex observing rats. And Muhammad, he came to a conclusion because Muhammad is a scientist, you know. So, uh, he noticed that rats don't drink the milk of the she-camel. So, Muhammad, because he's super intelligent, he said, a group of the Israelis were lost. Nobody knows what they did, but I do not see them, except that they were cursed and changed into rats. <laughs> or, look, look at the reasoning, look at the intelligence, how Muhammad he found that the Jews become rats? Because they don't drink, those rats are Orthodox Jews, obviously. Orthodox Jews don't drink the she camel milk. So Muhammad he connected the dots. He's a super intellect. Ah, look what's happening. The rats are not drinking the milk of the camel. Mm -hmm. Jews don't drink the milk of the camel. Aha! Those are the Jews who Allah cursed them and made them rats. <laughs> See, when I was uh, like, when I was younger, uh -huh. we used to like the internet was just like coming to the Middle East, right? And we used to uh, 
like receive emails. Uh, I'm pretty sure like uh, anyone who used the internet for longer now, like have like gone through phases similar, but like back then a lot of people would forward emails to a list of people. So you always receive emails that you didn't sign up for. Yeah. But a lot of time you receive stuff like I don't know. Well, this guy, uh, they open a grave and they found someone who, like, he didn't decay completely yet. Uh -huh. He looks so scary and his face looked like deformed. And then they put, uh, like, uh, a text underneath it. <laughs> this guy used to listen to music. <laughs> <laughs> no, they, they those you can find them on YouTube right now. You know, like, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, don't you know the story of the guy? Yeah, yeah the guy who put the miswak in his anus. Yeah, yeah, they are growing old. I know. You know, they are just they have a yeah, like, they have a brain of uh, of of, uh, of two years old. Yeah, imagine, imagine like fourteen hundred years ago, right? Imagine how much shit people, excuse my language, people used to believe. Like thirty years ago, we used to believe that they that, like crazy stuff, like this. Trust me, people they still believe in this garbage, and they now, you know. That's why we are here trying to show them how stupid Islam is. No. And it takes a lot of time, so No problem. I understand you are a one man show, but like I feel honestly, honestly, I feel bad for them. Like coming from where I came and like and like you know being the West now since I live here uh, like in North America and seeing where I came from like this uh, phase of like there was no internet so you used to go like you didn't have access to information as much right and now uh, you have access to everything and I saw different cultures I honestly just feel bad for them it's a human psyche it takes a lot of time to change what you will like raise to believe and i'm not giving anyone excuses i'm saying it it's just the human nature like when i try to uh, talk with my brother like i just told him that they were discussing about the gta i told him <clears throat> about like you have to take the jizya from the jews and like uh, people of the book uh, uh why they are humiliated he was like yeah and I told him, like, what, what, what does that mean? He says, you either, like, usually what used to happen is you either bring them early and make them wait, let's say, for X hour, two couple hours, or you do something like, I don't know, like, just to make the day worse. And I told him, like, this is okay. And he was like, yeah, it's just a law. And, like, it just doesn't connect. Okay? So... Yeah, I, I am. Yeah, faith religion. This is the way, this is the way they made the population uh, convert to Islam to avoid the humility, you know. It was a very evil yeah. way to make you give up your belief and say, oh, I, you know, my children are being spit at in the street. People, they can beat us. We cannot even call, call the police for them. Uh, people, they make fun of us. We are disrespected. This is what they are doing to Christians in Pakistan right now, you know. So... Yeah. Uh, uh, it's a way to force you to leave your belief and force you to convert to Islam. However, we are here to stay and Islam is dying no matter what. Anyway, my friend, thank you very much for joining. Thank you. Thank you so much, Stevie, for taking my call. I, I, uh, I hope it wasn't like, uh, yeah, I hate them with my brother. No, no, you are welcome always. Thank you so, so much for the call. You're and welcome. maybe if I want to push on something else, then you'll be our contributor. No sure. problem. Thank okay. you. Have a good night. Right. Do we have any Mohammedan? How your Prophet Muhammad he observed facts? He was able to found that Jack Shalom. He was cursed and become a rat? Because Jack Shalom, he don't drink she camel, and this rat don't drink she camel. So Muslims, 
I can say the same now. I can say Muslim don't drink alcohol. Donkeys don't drink alcohol too. Huh. And by the way, Muslims, as long you claim that you follow Moses, as you claim that Moses was a Muslim, so how come Moses, he forbid the she camel milk and meat and you eat it? Any Muslim can tell us? Anyone? All right. Well, today we don't have too many people. Obviously, today is a slow night. Uh, maybe, guys, we will give you a break tomorrow. What do you think? Should I come tomorrow? We don't have customers. It's a slow. Maybe I should give you a break. <clears throat> All right. Why? Go ahead. Are you there? Why? <clears throat> All right. Why is not here? All right, guys. I want to say thank you. We will make it short for tonight. And we hope tomorrow or the day after, if we come, we will find more people to join us. And we will do better fishing. We pray for that. Thank you. God bless you. And this is your brother Christian Prince who was serving you humbly for today. See you soon again. Bye-bye.